Welcome back to We Are Live, Chris Denman, alongside the intern Thomas Mosslander III. Gardner is here. Mr. Terrell is in New York, but we're pleased to be joined by the star of Twitter polls and the like. Oh, Brendan wow. Schaefer from KMOV. What's up, buddy? Hey, everybody. How are we doing today? Uh, I'm uh, better now. I'll this, say that. Wow, these are some cool digs you guys have here. You enjoy it? Yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty nice, i got to say. Brendan uh, writes for KMOV. He is uh, in town covering the blues. What was the experience like in the press box? Did everyone stay, um, I guess, neutral in the press box? You know, I would say, you, you know, everybody knows the rule, no cheering in the press box, and so everybody was subdued compared to what was going on in the crowd was but, it mad i mean madness but it was right? ma it was madness i mean I, my, my mom was asking the same question last night like what did people do up there like you're witnessing history for you know the, the city of st louis and the blues and and so it's it's hard not to get wrapped up in that and i think people kind of understand that and so you know i'm not up there clapping or anything but i, I but you kind of are just muttering to yourself like into the guy next to you like Holy crap! Like this is actually this is happening. This is unbelievable, and it really was. Um, I, I've never seen an atmosphere like that ever at a sports Period. game, whether as a fan or as as a media. Um, and, and the the height of that was in the second period when yeah. they had that three that's, or so minute stretch. Oh my god! I can't, that's the I mean, portion I was going to ask you about. Right yep. before they gave up the shorthanded goal, there was that that stretch where like I was sitting at home watching. And like my eye, I just, I didn't yeah. know if I was breathing by the time it, like I, when it, there was finally a stoppage in play, I just felt a, and I'm like, oh, was I breathing during any of that? What's going on here? I mean, it was intense. Yeah. It was unbelievable. And, and you're waiting for the moment for that to be like the moment that we're going to remember for years and years mm -hmm. and, and they, they, they score a goal, but that's not the way it worked out. And, and it's kind of crazy looking back to think that. You know, for as incredible as that was, it actually signaled the thing that was almost the turning point in the wrong direction. Um, and, and just like I say, I've never seen a building or heard a building that loud. I've never seen a momentum swing kind of quiet a crowd the way that shorthanded goal did. And, you know, with the history of the Blues organization, you kind of have the feeling like, oh, gosh, here we go again. And I think it's just goes to show once again, and we've had moments like that previously in the postseason, uh, that – this isn't the blues of, oh, here we go again. Like, this is a different year. This is a team that um, has just bounced back time after time. They have been relentless with uh, when faced with adversity. And once again, last night, they find a way to get it done in the third period. Um, and, and that's something that even talking to some other guys, you know, media here and what everybody has to say as mm -hmm. we're walking down, they're like, yeah, you know, I thought that I, I thought that might have been it. Like, you're, you're kind of conditioned to think that might have been it. And just as it, it's been the case so many times throughout these playoffs, it, it wasn't it, and they, they lived to fight another day. Because if you go down 3-1, to one, it's not over. Like, I understand math. Pretty rough. But it's pretty much over. I, I think it's been – it's decades since a team has come back in the cup final from, from down 3-1. So you live to fight another day, and now, now it's anybody's series. So just – yeah, I, I cannot – it was an unbelievable atmosphere – um, and really cool to see them them able to get the job done in front of the home fans. Get that monkey off their back. Every every step they yeah. take is another monkey off their back. But the first home win um, in the Stanley Cup final, it was really, really cool to be there um, and, and see in person. For St. Louisans, not New Yorkers. <laughs> oh, yeah, what's up, Trev? How you doing? Again, uh, Shafe. Again, I am the only person currently on this show and on that set that actually grew up in the city of St. Louis. <laughs> Did that say random <laughs> bodega? That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Chuck Random found That's it in 1988. That's generally where I am. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to hear a guy say, uh, hey, put that magazine down. <laughs> <Just a> <laughs> Shafe, what what have you heard from, I guess, the national media types? Not only, of course, about the city. I know St. Louisans have to hear what other people think of their city. But I want to know what they're thinking of this Blues organization. I'm curious as to what they thought of it prior and what they're currently seeing now. You've already alluded to it, that this isn't the old Blues, the same old Blues, where if they get into trouble, they're going to look up and their, their head is of the water is above their head. But in this case, this team is so resilient. They fought back. This team probably... I would imagine in January, a lot of those folks who follow the Blues organization uh, didn't think they would even be anywhere near the playoffs, let alone in the Stanley Cup. So what have you heard from some of the national media types on what they are thinking of the St. Louis Blues team? 
Yeah, I, I think the consensus is to, to be impressed, like with what you said, with where they came from earlier in this season. Um, I, I would imagine not many of the national media, just like people locally, didn't probably expect the Blues to be in this position considering well, where they started. Vegas didn't think they yeah, were going to be there. And that's and the ultimate litmus yeah, test, and so right? The, <laughs> Yeah, it probably caught a lot of people by surprise to where um, maybe they're catching, <coughs> pardon me, maybe they're catching up a little bit uh, to, to finding out what the Blues are all about. But I think they're seeing, you know, uh, impressed by the, the the interim head coach, Craig Berubri, and kind of the, the tone <laughs> that he's been able to set um, for the organization and, and just the kind of stoic way that he goes about his business. And I, I think the team kind of reflects that. And I think that's kind of, um, you know, something that the national media – can recognize and, and, and take hold of and see that, you know, it's it's just the, the, the formula that the Blues have going on right now, that's that's kind of what makes it different from, from past years. Certainly is. What do you think about, uh, and Travis, I know uh, how you'll feel about this. You've already expressed your feelings. And their, their rise has been, uh, I guess, synonymous, coincide, however you want to say it, uh, Barstool having the Boston roots and all that stuff. It's a good time to be a media company that incites uh, the dudes they incite whenever your town's winning a championship every few months. Uh, the Barstool phenomenon. I think this is actually interesting because you are younger. There are plenty of people your age that are that grew up on Barstool or borderline obsessed with Barstool. <laughs> and, I, and I'm not even being a jerk or, or picking up, but uh, what do you think of the madness that they kind of bring to the table? Because they did. Say what you want about, oh, this city, that city. They have a kid that's from here. I, I saw, and again, I don't pay attention to Barstool, like, right. period, but you can't miss it from this stuff. So what do you think, I guess, of just that media phenomenon being part of that? Because it's, it's certainly, it is a side story. It's made, it's made following it m more interesting as yeah. if that was even possible. Um, yeah. No, I'm not a, not a Barstool guy. Not I, a stoolie. I'm not. Um, <laughs> I, I know the guy you're talking, the Blues fan you're talking about, he's got the little chinchilla like I, I didn't realize I didn't yeah, know that until I saw him like hand, I see Brett Hall holding Brett a squirrel Hall was holding it and last I was like night. what the yeah. what dude what do you that can't be good for that animal I think the animal's name is Boris um, and I've seen some of the videos this guy's put out and I think you know it just just as far as passionate blues fan and he knows how Does to he talk work on for kid. them I think he's one of the one of their yeah one of their okay. people and, yeah. and is a blues fan and so um, it's 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 entertaining to I think he had one where he, after the loss one of the losses he from like 1:30 a.m. from his bed. He's doing a video like, and I'm watching it, and I'm like, this is this is wild. So I don't know. I think a lot of people have some issues with Barstool for some of the different things, like as a company that mm -hmm. they've done, um, as as far as the, the the people involved in the series. I think it's, I think it's kind of interesting, um, but certainly I wouldn't I wouldn't consider myself a a fan of of them or Gardner and or I keep saying they, the same thing. I don't know enough about it. Yeah, Travis, I, Travis is straight, straight up giving an opinion. He has yeah. not a fan. I hate it. I, well, I, I think I think what Barstool does and uh, aside from the chauvinistic and the incredible, disgusting way they've treat, treated well, women who have who've been in positions to write for them in the past, uh, put that in putting that aside. I think they they do what a lot of the dude bros do now. They take something where everyone has their attention focused on something. And so now they have to find a way to attach themselves to what everyone else is focusing on so people can then focus on them. And so they're taking the Stanley Cup in this instance where it's about them. It's about Boris. It's about this score. It's not about the Blues and Bruins. It's not about the Stanley Cup. It's about how I can take this event and make it about me. And so that's one of my bigger problems with Barstool is that it always comes back to how can we make this about us? And I just think that's that's not how I care to watch my sports. I don't care what a dude bro from Festus with a stupid ass chinchilla cares about the blues. Like that's not interesting to me. But then again, I'm not their demographic. So they do well as a business. They do very well, in fact, um, as far as subscribers and listeners. But that's just it's so weird to me to see people gravitate towards dude bros because they have cool, creepy screen names and they want to take the focus away from the Stanley Cup and put it Your on themselves. Your name is Black to the Future yeah. on Twitter. Come on. <laughs> yeah, come on. Did. And if it was... <laughs> that was before I became if it was the media sensation that I am right now. I did not How can we make this about me is your biggest... It, thing. it was what, who, is who you are. Uh, yeah, come on. I am, and if guys, it was, I'm about the city. I'm about sharing it with everybody. It's about... No, the, you're not. It's about and if it was scouts, Mookie from... Cool, if it was Mookie from Cool Valley with a possum, you'd be down with it. You'd be like, man, he's he's all of us.
<laughs> He's all of us, man. That's, I Put love it this that way. Here, here's, a, here's a better example. Here's a better example. Look at a guy like Tony X. Tony X has is, is still always been about the team. It's always been about the city. It's always been about the, the actual event, not about him. So that is an example of someone who is a strong media personality online who doesn't make the event about himself. I think there was. Am I right? When he didn't go to the NHL All Star game, I think that we that Tony was looking out for himself for other reasons, right? Come on, we got to think. There's maybe, 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 but at the same time, I'm saying is that he is still an interesting follow. He makes watching the game a little bit fun because it's not specifically about him. He keeps the action on the That's fair. ice. What he's talking about is on the ice. I just think sometimes the, the stoolies, they have to have the look at me celebrate when I when they score a goal. Look at me celebrate when they score a goal. Think about that. And that's and again, that's so I'm, I'm ignorant to this. I'm, I'm aware. I'm aware they're a media company. I'm aware they crush it. I'm aware. Blah 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 blah. I don't. I don't watch the content. I don't really know a ton about it. I know they've done some comedy shows and they do like a weird uh, celebrity boxing thing. They've been on Rogan. Uh, excuse me. In the old days. They've been on Rogan yet? No, no uh, Tucker Carlson. I don't think he's. No, that's right. right. That's right. Uh, in the old days, PFT commenter and is there a guy named KFC uh, was on uh, some podcast I listened to. But no, either way, the point is there. But their brand is being obnoxious, right? Right. And I think one thing I do want to mention that I think is to me the most problematic element of of Barstool is kind of the way they incite the mob riots toward things. And, mm-hmm. and I don't. It's kind of a question of well. You're not telling people to go after people online, but it happens consistently, and they've got to know that it happens consistently. Mm-hmm. And so, like, like X plus Y, equals yeah. Like this, the question yeah. becomes, what is your responsibility to 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 try to control that if you can have any control over it at all? And I would argue they probably haven't done enough toward that end because, yeah, there like Travis mentioned, there have been some some you know serious examples of, of people stuff, going yeah. just like the mob riot after people who you know, unsuspecting of, of, of anything have, have these things happen to them and suddenly their, their lives are turned upside down. And when you've got a, a large following like that, that's the kind of thing that can happen. So that's, that, I think that's my main thing. Like, like I said, I'm kind of on your stands where I'm not too familiar with them, but I do know that that goes on enough to say, you know, they, they probably should be doing, doing more to, to say, look, they Chill can say, yeah, we, we're not, we don't, we don't support that, but it's kind of like a, you know, Trump can say, I don't support, but it's, you know, yeah. it's, it does it's, happen. It's how uh, it's how ICP's uh, Juggalos winded up, uh, right. ended up on a, an FBI watch. Hey, man, don't, right. disrespect. Don't, right. disrespect. don't disrespect Juggalos like that. All man. I did they, was just report news. Close. All I did was report news. They were on a terrorist watch list. You so said weird. it like you were talking down. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm mm-hmm. sorry. My don't mother wouldn't be juggalos. too pumped if I ended up on a <laughs> FBI watch list. So maybe that's what the, the angle I'm taking on I wonder if I'm on a watch list. Yeah, you should be. Yeah, you should be. Thank you. Is this the one thing we've all ever agreed on? You're on a watch list. Huh. Yeah. A yes, I think we are like completely agree on some Singular? Yeah, you're on at least yeah, three. you're on more than one, pal. You guys <laughs> answer that way too quickly. Yeah, there was no... I don't appreciate no that. Took a breath. You're a man that wants to go walk in stewards and rob banks. Mm-hmm. Of Only course, under some conditions. Get him, get him, Tommy. Only get him, Tommy. He's going yeah. to strategically yeah. rob banks. Yeah. Well, would well he's <laughs> strategically on a few lists. Would the two of you, uh, <laughs> with your fair. golden, beautiful locks, would the two of you... Um, if we wanted to do like a bar stool or whatever kind of stunt, almost Howard Stern, 1993, would uh, you two allow Tommy and I to give you mullets for good luck? No. To You're going to let me out, cut your hair? To finish out the Blues Stanley no. Cup run. Ooh. I think that's important. Content, can, Gardner. No, content. content. Travis, I'm glad, I'm organic glad, growth. I'm glad Gardner's not for this because I don't think that would be something I could. You couldn't be uh, talked into that? No, I okay. couldn't. I'd get, in a, I'd get in a lot of trouble. If you, oh, if oh my wife's going to get me. Oh, my beautiful, lovely wife is going to yell right. at me. Beautiful oh, and lovely. Get, uh, that is uh, correct. Uh, yeah. you want, that's Travis, a whip sound. Travis is projecting. He's don't, acting like you, that. Don't do the whip sound from New know. York. You're not even yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Everybody knows when you make the whip sound, you have to be in studio. That's if, right. If you I'm told not threatened me, by that. Time-honored rule. And I'm sorry to disappoint the Blazers, <laughs> but if you told me, guaranteed, Gardner, if you do a hockey mullet this afternoon, the Blues are guaranteed you to win the You have to keep Stanley it for a year. Cup. The Blues are guaranteed to win the Stanley Cup. You have to get the sides trimmed every two weeks. Okay. And you have to keep it for a year. I would say no. You wouldn't do it? No. You I, would just leave them to the... Like, do they lose if you they don't? They lose. They oh. lose. You selfish. Yeah. 
Oh, most certainly. Really? If yeah. It, really? If that were me. I don't care was, enough about it. If this were verifiable, like yeah. we're talking hypothetical. You right wouldn't now. get a statue guard, man. But I think I would. I would kind of parlay that into some kind of financial gain first. Like, Thank you. Like, hey, Blues fans, here's the reality of the situation. Right. I'm willing to do this, but you also. You gotta help hold me out a little bit. No, don't even hold. No, go real with it. Be like, bitch, pay. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. I, mean I, I set up a GoFundMe. Yeah. I'm gonna need this to happen. Yep, I would do that. Though. I think the hillbilly blood in me just says no, no matter what, because it's someone wanting something. I don't happens. like it. Yeah, I don't like the government. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, then make them work for you. I don't know. That's the blues one. I'll do something with my hair. There you go. I think people will care. Oh, Tommy, what would you do? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you oh, remember the talking up. down thing? I think <laughs> you just did it again. Are we noticing a trend here? Yeah. You know what I don't talk down about? Gateway oh. powder coating. Oh, okay. That's right. Gatewaypowdercoat.com. Oh, wow. The greatest powder coating business in all the land. That's right. They love the blues, too. Gateway powder coating. Fast, durable, affordable. Check them out. You don't want to be uh, smoking your meats. It's got to be embarrassing. You have people over with what was that? <laughs> no, you, you said have people it. over. You have people over. You yeah. got a rusty smoker. Yeah. No, you let them take care of it. Okay. Gatewaypowdercoat.com is the website. Say hello to Mark Ekman and the guys out at uh, Gateway Powder Coating. Travis, can we powder coat the top of your head when you get back? Mm. That's Chris, a yes. Well, That's I, a yes. Yeah, yeah. We can powder coat my head, guys. Thanks, man. Yeah, I wanted it. to, to ask Brendan. Did you talk to any? Uh, the only time St. Louis gets really Did you excited. Talk to, talk to any ice girls? No. <laughs> <laughs> the only time St. Louis gets excited about celebrities is when they do come in town, and the only time they do come in town is for playoff series. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And any sport. <laughs> and then they're our celebrities. <laughs> yeah, there we are. <laughs> they, they, eat a, they eat a quick hey, brunch at Brio. Scott in St. Louis in 25 years. <laughs> yeah. And now he's hey. going to show up yeah. at the I will take that here. one, though. Yeah. I will take the Scott Bakula one. He yeah. is a delight. And for all we know, he time-traveled here with Ziggy. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, yes, That's thank you, Chris. Is that a That's reference point. to something? It certainly is. Quantum Leap. That's Quantum Turn. Leap. You go to hell, Tommy. Greatest TV <laughs> series of all time. The old bastards in the room are like, you son of a... Give, give oh, Tommy a break. Yes. I don't. I haven't seen it either. So uh, next thing you'll be telling me you haven't oh, seen shit. MacGyver either. Uh, <laughs> oh, we are sword fighting tomorrow. So. Hey, no dice hey, on Travis, that one over here. How much does the Hobbit eat? Because I think I got you on that earlier. So. Oh, no. oh. Yeah, I don't. Scott know Bakula that. was uh, trapped in a uh, in an experiment I know, I where got he his had autograph. to jump in. <laughs> well, you got okay. Scott Bakula's yeah. autograph. Okay. What? All right. Is this how you like one of those things where you met Rob Lowe or yeah, what is? Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Where was it? It was at a toy con, like a toy convention. Where? What city? Uh, it's St. Louis. It was in St. Yeah. Louis. Okay. Yeah. My dad got a picture with him. How long ago? Like four months ago? Drink in the what? mic. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can hear the There it is, Travis. There it is, Travis. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm going to retire <laughs> mid-show. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> Meredith says Tommy would make a great juggalo. I almost got to meet them. He so would. Give me a whoop whoop. Whoop whoop? Mm. <laughs> It's not, you guys just make him do stuff. You're just like, you know what would be funny if we made Tommy say? He wants exactly. to, that's, though. That's, 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 prob- the that's problem is, yeah. You're kind and if of he, taking advantage here. If he's going to get mic time for the entire show okay. and be a complete dick most of the time, <laughs> we have to be able yeah. to give him some form of tamping down <laughs> Fair enough. where we can work it in. Uh, he just uh, hosted at the Funny Bone all weekend, so he's particularly uh, uh, yep. jumpy okay. uh, right today. So we gotta we got to keep an eye on him. Uh, overall... Amazing. I don't know. We're kind of backtracking here, but uh, I don't know if you saw any of the Gary Clark Jr. performance. A little bit on the Kennedy screen. Holmes. That wasn't outside. I for, was yeah. Inside for that. Absolute madness for that. And I'm I, honest to God, and I know we've talked about this a little bit already. Everybody vote yes or no. Will we be embarrassed if, in fact, uh, we'll just say no, either way. Will we be embarrassed how people act at the conclusion of the Stanley Cup final for as St. Louisans? No. Yeah. For, like, what do you mean? No. Like, uh, what they win or lose? Win or lose. If you win, you saw it. In, or when they lose in Vancouver, you saw everything go nuts. When uh, people oh, they're win, not sometimes or white people. No. White people. Yeah. White. Yeah. White people are certainly. Um, when it comes to rioting, they pick their spots. He's always got to make it about he you does. know whatever. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's the truth. <laughs> uh, why are you disparaging Asian this hockey is, fans? This isn't even a member of the show, Travis. This is a guest. Mm-hmm. 
No, but I know. I know his game. Yeah, that's <laughs> all. That's his, that's his whole. That's it. Yeah. He exists Ooh, on. Schaefer look knows at, my game. Come yeah. and get me. Come yeah. and get me. It's exactly. not time for a game of Make It Racing. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come I get love me. Shake. Shake Black like, Twitter's I know coming after you. You better watch those polls you're putting out there now. Oh man, oh man. So uh, my question, question is, can no. I ask you a question? I know. Uh, well, can we, oh, add, can we answer mine? So yeah, if you don't did, mind, do you want to bring it back to you? Do you want to bring it back to you? I'm trying to kill another seven minutes. Sorry. A little behind the scenes, guys. Yeah. But, <laughs> Travis, <laughs> he's like not even on screen anymore. Uh, he's having such a he's paying his utility bill. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so Schaefer, will we be embarrassed? No, uh, I don't think. I, if they lose, I don't think anything will happen. I think people will be despondent. They'll be very sad, but I yeah. don't think they'll get angry. If they win, I almost say people throwing their you, iPads in St. Charles. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna. It's good. Don't take this the wrong way, Travis. But I almost say like anything goes within reason if they win because that's gonna be. Don't don't like. Oh six. Don't do some crazy. You know. Two thousand six World Series four in the morning. Kings Highway South City. I wasn't there. I was in Columbia celebrating, maybe with Travis even. Uh, but uh, for sure, people hanging out of their car at four in the morning with drinks, pouring yeah, them on their like heads, that's fine. waving at cops. Yeah. And everybody's like, hey, what are you going to do? I think that will happen, and then some. Maybe it'll mm-hmm. even raise the ante a little bit off that. I try not to destroy people's property. Like, yeah. don't, don't, I don't think that, that helps. You know, when you, when you make some people have a real bad day because you're having a good day, maybe you cross the line there yeah. but no i would say you know i, I would, think overall we'll be all right it would be tough to, to to say oh i'm embarrassed by this action because i kind of expect it to get a little crazy yeah you any know? cars getting turned over that could happen yeah. you think so? I, I don't no, think it should sure. i don't think it should i don't happen, think so but i it could i that's a big that's a big move i'll go 60 40 no it doesn't happen oh uh, yeah i'll take that i think it's a little i but don't think possible. it'll happen but it certainly if it did you i can't say i'd be surprised would you travis I recall the 2011 celebration when the Cardinals won, and of course we all remember that as one of the greatest World Series, one of the greatest championship wins of any team in St. Louis sports history. And I recall the excitement, and there it was an understanding. People were like, we're going to be in the streets, we're going to be mm-hmm. stupid, we're going to act silly, they but we're going to leave people's up. property alone. Um, and then the cops, even the cops are the same way. The cops are like, you guys can smoke all the blunts, do all the crack, drink all the beer, wasn't pop all the champagne. I don't. Did they, was that and, a press uh, release? I think that was yeah. a statement. That was, that was, okay. I think that was I what the police chief said in a statement. But essentially they were up? like, you can do almost, <laughs> yeah, I think it was. Can't remember. But they you said you could, do, you, could, you could do anything you want. I do recall being uh, by patios when the Cardinals won uh, 2011. And the officers were like, we don't care. Just leave the property alone because that's just paperwork for us and we ain't trying to do paperwork. So as long <laughs> as people, yeah, as long as you don't force the cops to do paperwork, they're not going to care, especially if the blues win. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if half of them were drinking with the fans if the blues win the cup. I found, I found the 2011 celebration to be uh, quite polite, very respectful. Everybody just basically just trotting around, hugging each other. It's because we're the B-Fib. We've yeah. been there before. Yeah, but the Blues have The Blues have it. Have so it. We yeah. need it. I, oh, oh here, that's a good point. Me, did I bring this up on the show? This is actually uh, mirrored by a totally different person from yesterday. I feel like I've been saying this for years, Travis. In my experience, did I say this yesterday? Uh, hockey fans tend to be folks that maybe did not ever play organized sports on the whole. Yeah. Okay, I find that to be problematic. As in, they've never been, they've never had their ass beat. They've never right. taken a really important loss and cried in their mom's shoulder. Like this. Now, wait, sports in general or hockey in, in See, particular? See, I find hockey fans to be the guys that maybe didn't play a ton of sports. Okay, maybe sports. they played a little okay. role. Maybe they played, just competition <laughs> teaches you certain things. And I feel like hockey guy at the bar flips out over an athletic feat he could never even think of doing, and he's, t- he's coaching him the whole time. I just find hockey fans to be more intense about that, and I feel like well, you said my it. I didn't see it. I, mean, I feel yeah. like on the whole, there's a lot of people, armchair, Step I don't back. know, yeah. whatever. The hey, examples I, he gave a second ago were very specific. Man, no, I've just seen Crying it so much. Crying in your mom's shoulder. Oh, no, no, those are things. Well, you've never played a sport, Tommy, so these are very normal <laughs> things that happen the, as Tommy, you grow do you, up. Do you like hockey? Uh, I don't Okay, see, there you go. I don't know that this whole up. I've been paying attention. Okay, Tommy's like, I never played sports. I don't give a damn about hockey. Tommy, showed him how you celebrated the Blues uh, overtime win. Oh, yeah. 
Uh huh. Just awesome. like that. Oh, cool. No, that Good was it. Them. Uh, yeah. Ben <laughs> this Jordan <laughs> Bennington <laughs> Jr. over here. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's the goalie. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, I was gonna say. Yeah. I was like, no. The next words out of my mouth were gonna be, "Hey, before I leave, can can we get Tommy to try to do the do the ba oh, <laughs> basketball man. shot? Because that was one of the days I was on the show and I kept watching afterwards, and I was crying. Like I had tears coming out of my eyes watching him do that over and over. All right, I want to see everyone's jump shot. I want to see everyone's jump shot. Let's start with our guest of honor. Uh, Tommy, put your shot down right now. Let's go with our guest of honor, Brendan. Let's see your shake. Well, what do you really have, have as far as a jump, jump shot? shot per se. It's kind of weird can, sitting can, down, too. I can knock down a free throw, but I mean, I kind of... All right, let's see what that looks like. Oh, he's a lefty. I am a, a southpaw, yeah. Didn't well, you, you do didn't a... Have it. You didn't oh, okay. right I, like I did that. Was, that Whatever bad. Gardner's about to say yeah. is true. You did a video of yep. you shooting free throws once with a soundtrack to it, I recall. Yeah, I did some music behind it because what had happened was, uh, what was the song? Matt Rocchio <laughs> told me I could... I don't know what... It was like three different songs. I don't uh, remember. Um, um, it's, somewhere, home, it's somewhere on YouTube, home. I think, out there still. But we got into a conversation on Twitter where... You know, I, I was talking about NBA players who couldn't make free throws, and I just thought that was the, the most ridiculous thing. You do this for a profession. There's no reason Been anybody should be shooting 43% from the line. Like, it's just I, – I, I cannot fathom how that how that could take place. And so I made a comment on Twitter, and, you know, Matt Rocchio came at me, and I said, look, I could walk into any gym cold and hit 65 out of 100. I just could. And so – the next time I went to the gym, <laughs> I took a video and I actually made 70. Oh, and I, damn. Uh, and so I put that up. And then uh, the other day, I hadn't picked up a ball in six months. The last time I went to the gym within the last few weeks, I actually went 77 out of 100, the best I've ever done by far. I was going to say, maybe I was good. That was shocked by that. But yeah. I mean, yeah, it's just, you know, yeah, I yeah. was a short white guy, lefty. Yeah. What so did you I can have make free but throws. to make free yes. throws? Yeah. 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 You know, fair. when I when I had my intramural games at Mizzou, there was one time it was like a technical foul. Anybody could shoot the, the free throws. You were the guy. My my buddy DeAndre, he's on the football team. He thinks he's so bad. He, I, I, I got these. I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one thing oh, I can yeah. contribute, and you will let me have this. <laughs> Stand down. Yeah. And I made, a, I made them both. So I'm just <laughs> yeah. saying. I'm, Brendan I'm just everybody. saying. Free, free throw throws. expert. I think, I think my free throw, I still do it. I modeled it after Jacques Vaughn, former Kansas City. Let's Jayhawk see it. Let's point. see a little bit of it. Let's see a little bit of it. Let's see a little bit of it. It was always bounce, bounce, spin, bounce, look down, and then look up at the rim. Don't look too long, though. You don't want to think too long. So you find your rim. This has already then, lasted like seven minutes. So I don't yeah. know. So it's it bounce, think bounce. That's pretty I'm good. Call, I'm calling you for 15. Uh, you're doing a superstition here. Bam. That's just like this that. was the That's only part shot, that mattered. It's pretty good. It's it's square. Can it, I, it, it, the the setup keeps me square with the hoop. I want to. I want to. You, you have a system. Not a lot of motion. Yeah. Before I forget about this, I want to kind of because you mentioned Kansas basketball, I saw and I and I tried to Google for an image to to replicate what I saw on the way to the hockey game yesterday, but I swear I saw it, a license plate cover that said Kansas and it had you know red and blue, out you know the license plate covers go mm -hmm. on the back of the Kansas and then. Just as soon as Kansas ends, a black and gold Tigers starts on the other side. It, it literally said Kansas Tigers. The Kansas was in K KU colors. The Tigers in so the half Duke. and half. Yeah, and I it was the worst abomination I've, <laughs> of anything I've ever. seen. I wanted to get your your thoughts on if you've ever seen anything like. I haven't I, seen because that. I've seen it's like, got to be a family that has. Uh, but in, you know, I've seen Cardinals Cubs households kind of coexist. And stuff. I don't think it's possible to do that with. Kansas and Mizzou. Like, I talk yeah, to you, I mean, but I don't really, you know, like you that like much. Like, the AD of Good Kansas, point. his Good daughter, point. I believe, goes to Mizzou. That's insane to me. And it's, like, yeah, part of does. the journalism that's, program. That's and like crazy to me. On some that? committee of something there. So, I mean, there's weird stuff even for, like, people that are, like... Like, if Jeff Long, like, is showing his Mizzou colors at any time for his daughter, how's no. that, as the AD, how's Does that going to look? Is she, is she an athlete? That'd be even better if he had to, like, support. I don't know. Okay. I know that she's That'd involved with the journalism program heavily. Sorry to hijack you there, but I was just. Not at all. Blew no. me away in the, the excitement of all the hockey yesterday. I forgot to even tweet about it, or, which is rare that I forget you're, you're to tweet about something. You're, so. you're living on the <laughs> tweets, man. Yeah. Uh, that's. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm down with it if there's a, a kid or something involved. But, like, why do we need to put those – why do we need to do it? I'm not down with it. Yeah. I didn't, like – because, like, you're at least half me, but also, no. I, I wanted to kind of run them off the road, like, spy hunter style. True. I just, 
True story, Martin T. Rucker, former Mizzou yeah. tight end, yeah. All-American, walked out of a doctor's office in Kansas City, Missouri, was not joking because he saw the, uh, that's my guy. the KU degree, and they were I like, what are you it. doing? He's like, I love oh, it. this ain't going <laughs> to. That's, that's kind of I was I like, feel. oh, that's funny, and then you turned around and got your, he's like, no, I got a different doctor. That's how like, I, I, I'm serious. Like, it's so funny to me. I was, uh, in Texas, I do some substitute teaching at, at, a high, at the local high schools in, in, are there leather, in Round Rock. Are there leather patches on this? Uh, on these elbows? I don't oh, think okay. so. Sorry, no. I thought um, that was a requirement. But. No, no, but uh, so he just wanted to touch them. I went. That's okay. You can All touch. Day. It's yeah. fine. Thank you. Anyway. Travis <laughs> nodding his head like a creep there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Somebody, touch him. Touch him. You touch him. <laughs> so I. I <laughs> to to illustrate my disdain for Kansas, I walked into one of the classrooms one day. The teacher had obviously gone to KU or whatever. Had a had a little Jayhawk thing on the wall, and so I found some tape i found some paper towels and i covered it up just for the day like i thought uh, you know i'll take it down at the end but then i forgot to take it down at oh. the end so like mm. it was and kind of and a, it was ricky's third strike and he now was expelled from school because he got blamed <laughs> for it God. ricky's a big mizzou fan and so it just kind of <laughs> happened. But, uh, his lap. but that's just kind of where i'm at on the thing i take i take it pretty seriously and oh, yeah. uh, i appreciate that martin you, rucker does as well you mizzou oh. fans just go on celebrating william quantrill yeah so that's just, all oh, no. that's all did you ever pay me by the way for that bet we made about no kansas and mizzou I yeah i made a bet with you. Andy's custard. I this guy you Andy's. bet on on Kansas football. It mm-hmm. wasn't a basketball bet. Like he legitimately bet a couple years ago that KU would win more football games than Mizzou. And I was like, oh, okay, why would you do that? Sure. I don't fine. remember why. Okay. Well, stubbornness. Yeah. I, you. I think yeah. has something. To Actually, do. Tommy, good answer. That's the, a great answer. The only time I've ever almost bet with a bookie was on a Kansas football game. And I decided not to I don't do want it. You didn't be involved. Decided <laughs> not to do it because here's what I thought. I'm like, everything I own, everything my parents own, everything my grandparents own, give me your money. I'm going to make this bet, and it's a guaranteed winner. I'm going to bet on Kansas football for Kansas football to cover. And people are like, what are you talking about? Here was the situation it was when Turner Gill was head coach at Kansas, they were playing Nebraska. Still in the Big 12 at that time. It was in Lincoln. Turner Gill, former star for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. The spread was like 35 and a half points. And I'm like, yeah, Nebraska's going to win. Nebraska's going to control this game. Nebraska's not to going to embarrass one of their former stars wow, in okay. front of the crowd. I'm like, 35 and a half? Yeah, maybe if this was somebody else. They let off but the get, gas at 28. Get, but I'm like, I'm, I'm, and my lawyer's sitting there with me as I'm talking <laughs> through this, and he's like, do wow. you want to make the bet or not? And I, he's, Because he's like, the way you're talking here, you got me going, I might make the bet, and I'm a Nebraska fan. And I, I'm like, I, just, I go, I'm not going to do it. Because I, I go, if I, when I win this, when I win this is the taste I get, and oh, it's the taste yeah. I don't need mm-hmm. to continue on with this. Well, you, how and, you end up back in the park. So <laughs> I knew myself well enough. And the game goes on. What was the Nebraska score? wins by 17. They were oh, in control the entire game. Yeah. And I'm like, this is this basically is the, the exact formula like, that you expected. You give me all the yeah. yeah. It was exactly. But I again, mean, we can all eat ice cream cake for breakfast once. If you start doing it daily, no. it's not yeah. going to be. So such that's a the good thing. thing. It's like you know, yeah. Not I know like people. ice cream cake. I don't know about that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? What? Are you, what? Uh, what you drinking this morning? On that note, <laughs> prophecy or Modelo? Uh huh. I had Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you were leaning away from? Get yourself a little. <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a straw down. <laughs> yeah. Why did you get the straw that has a whistle on it? <laughs> oh, Travis ate, Farrell, everybody. I ate Taco Bell for breakfast three days one, three days in a oh, row once. Tommy. <laughs> Tommy. That was rough. Tommy. 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 Uh, they got these uh, Frito burritos. <laughs> Oh no. For breakfast? Yeah. Oh, Tommy. I've had that Tommy. for like a dinner. <laughs> yeah. I had like two. <laughs> two at a time. Why? What time of day was this? It was I... like nine. <laughs> oh, Tommy. What are you going to oh, do? Oh, Tommy. Uh, you have <laughs> health <laughs> issues and that just can't yeah, be good. Yeah, I can't. Like, for... Tommy. No, like. We need you just eating kale and uh, and just vitamin C. I bought and Chinese some food for myself fine, last the, night. Yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah. The Fritos. What? Not what, wait, much. what did you just say? I bought. What, no, I'm sorry. What did you just 
announce very proudly. <laughs> <laughs> I bought Chinese food for myself last night. Get that, that host money from the weekend, huh? Funny bone pays No, quick. I really couldn't afford it. <laughs> 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 I have to stop taking drinks of water when he uh, talks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just going to come You're learning. Out. You're learning yeah. how this works now. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um. So we talk, we talk. Are we done with this Chinese food? <laughs> what do we need to do with it? What's what kind of Chinese food did you? It was. was uh, it? <laughs> Come on, Gardner. I bought. I bought a. We got. Uh, we got another three minutes out of here. I bought a quart <laughs> of Work shrimp out the fried rice. Okay. Okay. I like what it's doing. Quart of shrimp fried rice, a quart of sweet and sour chicken, and then a full order of crab rangoon. Oh, just for you call. or? Yeah, it? this is just for me. And you ate it all? Not all of it. I ate all of the uh, chicken. I got some rice for when I get home. Later. How much did that cost? It's a, like uh, it's like uh, two meals. Yeah, it's it's fine. Like twenty bucks. Oh, it's, 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 he it's sells a his more. grandma's more than twenty bucks. Wow, wow. Okay. it was about Jesus twenty-five Christ. for you. Yeah, and no steak. How many crab rangoon came in the order? What Eight. Was it? Okay, oh, that's pretty man. good size. Yeah. Uh, Sean asking, does Captain D's serve breakfast? Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't know. But sometimes I get up late enough that I could eat it for breakfast. There it is. <laughs> Hush puppies all day, baby. That's hey. what Tommy was eating with his grandfather when the Blues won. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I like, you know, forming but new traditions. That's there was good. Like, there was like one lamp on. It was kind of quiet. It was oh, great. Oh, boy. It was now, if you okay. would have hey, said shape. Captain... Go on, Travis. <laughs> yeah, please. No, I was going to ask Shape. Shape, how do you... Now, can I ask you a question? You, I would imagine yeah, you go ahead. your grandparents, yes? Yeah. yeah. All right, no, don't go here. Ooh. Yes. No, I'm, I'm just curious. I, I just if had I lunch gave you a hypothetical yesterday. situation, we went to Chick Fil A. It was great. Yeah. So you love your grandmother. You would yeah. never, behind her back, sell any of her property to make a profit. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, Backstory. I yeah. Is there? What did you I, do? So this? the guy that you're sitting across, yeah, so the person that you're sitting across, uh -huh. likes to sell his grandmother's it's china on idea. eBay. It wasn't without... my idea. They made me do it. Yeah. Yeah. No. Right. What? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So let, let, let Travis finish. Yeah. yeah. Go on. So, yeah. So, so I guess I don't know whether Tommy is hard up on money, but instead of just, you know, asking his grandmother to borrow some money from time to time when she's not looking, uh, Tommy gets together with his grandfather and they sell her china behind her back <laughs> on eBay wow. and keep the money. You keep the money? I mean, he what keeps would, the money. What, would they do with, <laughs> what else do you do with money? I don't give it to charity. You give it to your grandma. It's her stuff. You. <laughs> Thank you. That's Buy your kind grandma of an a nice, idea. A nice yeah. gift. I don't Tell know. Me, you Buy sounded some... like you had such a disdain for charity the way you said that. <laughs> that woman should never what, run I'm out. Would I give it to people who need it? <laughs> <laughs> that poor woman should never run out of uh, Elizabeth Taylor's white diamonds perfume. She, you <laughs> should just you. have her stocked till the end of it's time. It's fine. Oh, uh, <laughs> says you. You know what else is fine? Oh. The segment Face Off, where we check out Travis's faces yeah. recently. Shaver, you're here. You'll love okay. this. All right. Gardner has done some, uh, what is it, Travis? Face Off. Oh, boy. Okay, so sometimes our screen freezes. Okay, that's fine. That's and we normal. like to take a snapshot of what happens when whatever face Travis okay. is making. Okay. By the way, I am loving this black curtain. Look at it! Look at the lighting in here. It is it that one? Look at it. yeah. Look or at the, look at the screen. One? I th I think we're looking pretty good. Yeah, is that mm -hmm. new? Yeah, brand new. Oh, what well, mm. used to be back there? Uh, oh, you can wall. see in face off. Oh, oh, there we go. There good go. segue. I think. There's one of them. Oh, Travis. Hey, what's that face I'm making? Oh, that's oh, a good one. Oh, wow. Oh, Why do you have to keep me in there? I don't <laughs> like me being part of this. Oh, you're Tommy there. dressed up that day. Oh, I did. thank you. Oh, Travis, look at oh, it. What am I doing there? same shirt you're wearing right now. That happens a lot. Oh, that's, that's, a that that's again. Oh, it's, it's the same day. No, mm. different day. No. Same shirt oh. again. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. What's that face? I didn't make that face. Ooh. Oh, that's when I think I farted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is too. <laughs> that looks like someone farted on your nose. And then you're How not happy. How often do you wear that shirt? That's the same shirt again. Uh, it was two different shirts, and they were from one day. That's I don't think it was. Oh, I mean, I'll just say every day. That's that shirt. You. That's it again. No, because my shirt there keeps changing. It was a long sleeve shirt. Oh, okay. But yeah. it's like the long sleeve version of that. Wait, what is he doing in that He's one? Sleeping. Okay. No, no. <laughs> Thank you, Shane, for good that, eye. No, the last one. The last one there. <laughs> Was when he turned off his camera because he got a knock at his door. Oh, that's, <laughs> thank you. That's the uh, that's the ever. Uh, oh, that's aware. what that's what it was. Okay, yeah. okay, I didn't know that's what it was. Uh, <laughs> that's good. All right, quick, that's pretty funny. 
quick reminder, get your favorite files in. Mm -hmm. The topic today, <laughs> civilization, human civilization will cease to exist by the year 2050. That's a study. That's right. That's, Report. That's, oh, my gosh. Email us. It's not necessarily true. I, I Googled it. Well, and Mordor will save us. Wall at weareliveradio.com. Mordor's not the com. good guy. Well, it is now. <laughs> it is now after That's they destroyed the, the ring. That's the thing ever said on the show. Yeah. <laughs> Wall at weareliveradio.com. You can win Oops. 10 bucks to Buzz's Hawaiian Grill. Travis, great work on Face Off. I do like that segment in place of uh, the sentence of the week now that he's For a now. professional writer and For doesn't now. speak out of turn anymore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we do have a Travu. Do we want to do um, it? I think we're going to pocket the Travu until okay. tomorrow. All right. Um, Jewish I, weddings will wait. Jewish did, weddings will Travu tomorrow. Mm. We'll have fun with that. Did you wear a, <laughs> did you wear a yarmulke? No, I did not. I didn't I like want to appropriate someone's wedding. I like wedding. the face Brendan's making. I'm just, I'm just soaking it all in, baby. <laughs> Keep I, going. I wanted to ask Brendan... Um, since you do all the sports stuff. Deeply personal Why are you question. Why like that? For a KMOV. That's yeah. kind of creepy, buddy. Yeah. The uh, Cardinals, we haven't touched on them at all. Who? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. how's no, this, they're doing better. How's this cover been for them, though? Went to my first Dude. game on Friday. Did you? Mm-hmm. And Good. they won? I kick-started yeah. the weekend. Well done. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they. I mean, it's kind of hard to care about that, to be invested in that right mm -hmm. now. No offense to the Cardinals, but like... They have a terrible May, and you're like, well, it kind of works out because I'm paying attention to hockey anyway. But um, <coughs> eventually, hockey is going to end. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and there for a while, I was As thinking, is there is. something the Blues can play in, like, after the Stanley Cup? Like, after they win that, can we do, like, a universe championship or something? Yeah, I because think so. we're not really ready for just baseball, but they started to turn things around over the weekend. They've got the Reds in town this week. The Reds are bad. Maybe they can – Kind of start to get on a little bit of a roll here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, they need to. Important to beat the Cubs because the Cubs kicked your butt when you were at Wrigley the first time. And so now you've evened the score. They'll head back to Chicago this weekend, um, this coming weekend. So, um, yeah, you know, baseball, kind of a marathon. Cardinals maybe need a little pitching help mm -hmm. kind of as we approach the trade deadline. But um, I'm not, especially after the Cubs series win, I'm not – quite is on you know the panic button right now about the cardinals uh there's a tweet on from the official chicago cubs twitter account at cubs what do you have gardner i'll I let you read this. it back visiting our old rivals in st louis nice that we finally given locals something to do and it's a clip of uh, chris bryan getting booed and uh spelling out <sighs> boring <laughs> Real clever. That's clever uh, of them. Mm -hmm. It didn't work out for them. Nerd alert. This weekend, but yeah. um, clever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will say that uh, to Travis's, uh, I don't like giving Travis credit, but he did the, uh, you know, small town thing, kind of attacked the baseball stuff. When I was at the game Friday, it was pleasant. It was beautiful. It was a wonderful evening. They ended up winning in extras. The ferocity in which they booed Chris Bryant for saying St. Louis they is hate boring. That I thought that was kind of lame after the fourth time he was up. It was. Uh, it was kind of yeah, weird. Very, I was like, it is kind of boring so here compared to Chicago. <laughs> whoa, so shut up. Whoa, if you whoa. enjoy your neighborhood, if you love it, that's whoa. fine. But you can't tell but furthermore, me. Furthermore, where are those the people Chicago, who were at the stadium? Ask them where they're from. You know, that's the thing. The people who were booing, ask them where they were from. And they'll tell you every other municipality that isn't St. Louis City. So it's like, you, you know that you come from a place that, you know, that farmers markets and whatever hillbilly shit you guys do. <laughs> he was but, gonna go hillbilly man, yeah. or white people. So yeah, okay, sorry, go ahead. But no, I yeah, it's I don't. Do it's like farmers markets. And, Chicago has farmers markets. I've been to one there. Oh, yeah, they're nice. They're yeah, but theirs is cooler and hotter. Their women are hotter there, so that's why it's cooler. Man, okay. how do you know that? But yeah. no. Because he's been there a couple times. Yeah, it ain't so like you're sampling wherever you're at. He's so. like anyone. He's been there once. He can all of a sudden make judgment on anything. I've right. never had a And then rail against, <laughs> others, rail against others for doing the same Chicago's thing. Chicago's nice, though. Like, it's it's, it's, it's really city. good. Are you kidding like, me? We're not yeah. trying to kid ourselves here, but yeah, uh, it's, that's why it's kind of like I, I have a hard time with that whole, you know, I get, and people are like, you don't hate the Cubs. It's like, I, I'm, you know, I'm more objective these days covering, sure. the, covering the Cardinals, and I, I think th it makes for great storylines, all of it does, but... Yeah, you know, it's oh. like, uh, who, who doesn't love a, an afternoon at Wrigley Field? Maybe a Friday, you know, kind uh, of a jaunt or along the lake. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'd love to just sit in a landfill in the hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Gardner uh, doesn't love an afternoon at Wrigley Field. That's right. Yeah, that sounds you, wonderful. What, what was that? You'd like to sit in a what? Landfill. Yeah. 
It's kind of like the thing the river to bear empties into. No, that's completely what, Tommy different. Tommy was so excited to really Ooh. shove that. You in thought you had me, and oh, yeah, that is not even close. Did you Tommy. hear the joy Ooh, in his trouble. voice? It rose have you ever been to a landfill? Gardner, I have. Gardner, punch him in the okay. head. Punch him, Gardner. I'm not gonna I'm punch gonna him. Kill him. I'm, here's what he, I'm he gonna do. Kill me. I'm going to teach him. I'm going to change his mind. That's scary. About Ooh. things, I'm not going to just hey, yell and Tommy say you're the worst person. And make myself feel better. I like I like... have some moral high ground that's going to last, oh, I don't know, for five minutes. And then what? Things are still the same. I'm going to teach Tommy with this with this information. I don't like how calm he is. This is weird. Yeah. What? It's that's like he, that's it's what you like, do. It's like I'm going to teach him how to remove the teeth so they can't identify the body. Yeah, this, yeah. Th- this teaching segment seems like something that's going to happen later. Yeah, like, maybe when oh, you're not here. Right. Yeah, yeah. okay. That I, makes sense. I, I Tommy, pl- punch, punch Garden in the head. Yeah, Travis yeah. has literally became yeah. the devil yeah. on our shoulders. Yeah. What is yeah. happening? Yeah. What is going on? How different he would be if he was here. Oh, yeah. yeah. I am uh, I am glad the Cubs tweeted that out, though, because it did allow me an opportunity. And oh. I like taking advantage of opportunities. Uh-oh. So ominous. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. I got to put this tweet out there. This tweet has this been portrayed as have, having been thought of in January and sent last night. I believe it and take no issue. Even though Brian's STL is born remark touched a nerve with all the locals, I'll still take Chris on a river to pair float trip to show him some fun. And of course, mine spells out. That's liberal arts. Oh, you weird guy. It took me 25 <laughs> minutes to come up with that. He texted me. He's Jesus like, Christ. I'm really trying to think of one. And then, like, after a while, he's like, Eureka. Like, I've got it. Yeah. And that's what you, that's what you what came is, up with. I mean, what's the too, joke here? Okay. What's liberal arts? Uh, I know what liberal you're, arts you're, is. You're, uh, Joe Madden said a couple years that's back. That's the manager a, for the Cubs. I'm aware, man. I don't think you are. We don't I know. Do we really don't know? know. I really did. Okay. Is that Pokemon Go? It is. <laughs> <laughs> Schaefer just dimed him out live on the air. That'll get. <laughs> tell you what. That'll get Tommy three days on the couch. He doesn't get mic time. We have to punish him like the child he is. Like, oh my like what's god. What's going on here? I'm so glad. That was like me hearing a vacuum cleaner two floors away. Schaefer Wait, was like, "What?" The I don't hell? know. Here's the thing, though. I don't know. If Schaefer was calling him out or was excited, oh, one, one no, I was, yeah. I was like befuddled by mm-hmm. like I just kind of glanced at it. his. The, Travis still has his hand in his face. After that one. I wasn't playing; it was just open. Yeah, Travis. See, if we would have had a frat dude intern, we could have had him up playing with Tinder instead of Pokemon. I played Tinder on the show too. It gets have boring you? sometimes. How's it go? Not good. Mm. But he said he's played Tinder. <laughs> yeah, it's a game to me because I Love never get any matches. Because you never, because <laughs> oh, you never oh, win. God, Tommy. Oh, oh, no, no, that no, is the don't most punch down on yourself. Thing I've ever said in my. <laughs> Oh my God! You're a comic, right? Schaefer, <laughs> Schaefer, the number one rule. Schaefer, can you give him a hug for me, please? Schaefer, oh, can you hug? He, I mean, no. he's all the way over oh, there. Yeah, yeah, that's a thing. All right. Tommy, you want a hug? He's all oh, the way no. over there. Oh, no. I'm afraid Gardner, you're like, can you give him a hug? Me. Oh no! If, you're, oh, if Gardner, Gardner gives up and gives him a hug, ah, uh, yeah, Gardner, wow. give him a hug. Yeah. Gardner's yeah. gonna give me a bear hug. This is gonna take a whole minute. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna walk all the way over. All right. Yeah. Oh man, I give feel him so a, terrible. You're gonna smell oh, like a, a cigarette the rest of the day. Yeah, give, all right. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Right. From this angle, it Those looks like his mean, aunt okay. is consoling yeah. him after a loss <laughs> in sports. Yeah. You do know what it feels like. Yeah, I do yeah. now. There it is. Wow. Tommy, thanks, Tommy. thanks Tommy. Chris. What's it gets up? better. It gets I, better. I know. I'll be honest. Okay, I want you to know. You end up in a podcast studio and you're almost 35. No, when Tommy gets to it, when Tommy. Eventually gets the transplant and he makes it to he's 25. Yeah. Yeah, that's when he really is gonna be. Because I tell you what, nothing is better than that transplant ass. Because all mm. the ass you gonna get from once you get that, people are like, oh, I'm gonna test that heart. Let me tear that up. I do love so that you Schaefer still... has no idea what you're talking no, about. No, I'm looking at you quizzically, wondering where that all came Tommy, from. Tommy has a uh, he has a robot heart and he's waiting it's for a human. It's not a robot heart. Bum ticker? Man. No. Yeah, basically. <laughs> is that what they say? He that's needs, what I've heard. It Tommy doesn't needs work, a right? heart and lungs. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why we've brought you here this today. This has gotten weird. <laughs> oh, so that, that's, right. that's, where Gardner, right that's where Gardner kind of comes into play uh, <laughs> with the harvesting. and it, yeah. It's back up, though. That's the thing. Like, it's still <laughs> on. Yeah. It's, yeah. 
And why is it just open? He upper said, oh, it's just open. Yeah. yeah. Open it's like a dancing play it. Pokeball on there. Like, it's, Again, something's happening. Just a, just a little peek behind the curtains. <laughs> uh, I'm here 10 to 12 hours most days, and this is the intern that'll tell you if I'm not here at 7.30 when he's supposed to be here. Like, I beat you here today. I did. I and, do that. And yeah. then he also just called our show boring mid-show. I didn't time, call so it boring. He said, sometimes it gets boring. It's sometimes it yeah. does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't say anything because I agree. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, like a couple weeks ago. Was that the Rick James yeah, answer Tommy just gave, yeah. by the way? He goes, uh, no, I didn't say it was boring. Okay, yeah, so I said it was boring. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes. Hmm. Not all the time. Like, this is fun. You're having a good. You're having a good day. This is okay. <laughs> Some people are interning in a tax accounting office. It's like, come on. He's like giving out grades. In yeah. The He's like, this yeah, is good. I'll give it a know, seven. That's, right. That's oh. his vibe. You forget man, my other man. job was a tax accountant. That's office. what I'm saying. Yeah. Man, oh man. Mm. Anyway. I, dro- I drove by yeah. the Mosslander tax service uh, about a week ago or so. Yeah, it's a nice, nice. building. Oh. Cool. Nice. Good doing some investigating. Be careful, nice. Tommy. Uh, you don't want him peeking around. I was there when he texted me, too. That was mm. the weird part. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know that, Tommy. <laughs> this is getting awkward. All right. uh, Schaefer, what do you have coming up on KMOV <laughs> that we need to check out? Well, man, whatever happens with this blues thing, I'll be riding uh, riding the, the, the wave through the end of it. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm going to be actually at uh, the watch party, Game 5, on, 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 on Thursday, I believe it is. Just that they're hosting downtown? Yeah. yeah. I, the, you know, they sold it out in under an hour. Um, I'll, I'll kind of be in with the people for that one. So with the normies. I'll maybe be allowed to have a beer or something like oh, that. Oh, okay. you won't be pressed? I won't go crazy, but no, I, I'll be, yeah, I'll be a ticketed patron for that one. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll probably try to try to write about that experience and what that's like. Maybe maybe talk to some people while I'm there, get the get the – the pulse of the of the nation, and then uh, you know, game six. I'll be at that on Sunday, um, potentially depending on what happens in game five. Blues could be going for it all in that game six. Yeah, I'll just be uh, heavy on the Blues coverage for sure until uh, until this thing wraps up, and then yeah, we'll get into Cardinals eventually. <coughs> we'll we'll remember that they exist <laughs> in a little bit, depending on how well they play. Yeah, if they if they if we if we wake up from this Blues coma mm-hmm. and the Cardinals are not in last place, maybe we'll give out. them. A little attention to. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think. I don't need. I don't want to get into if the Blues win. We'll talk about that if. It's they, almost uh, like I think, like, yeah. like I heard someone say it on a radio show on my way in, and I was just like, that. Yeah, is that? Could that really happen? It's like crazy. it's pretty. We're, but it's like it. What it does to you, you can't even. You can't even describe like just. What it Everything. does to your heart, and like just imagine, like that'd be so cool for the city. Yeah, that'd be, be great. Careful. And yeah, like the careful surrounding, time. in the surrounding municipalities so too, Travis. It would be cool for them too. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> like we, we like everybody. So uh-huh. Blackjack. I do. Anyway. St. John. Cool Valley. Yeah. Overland. Granite City. Mm. We like the Missouri side. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. that yeah. river's the, uh, yeah. the giant ice we wall. Yeah. Have we had you on since <laughs> Thrones ended? Uh, maybe. I don't think so. No, I don't think not we have. since it ended. I met uh, him today, so no. Thumbs, what'd you say? I met him today. Oh, you met him well, today. Well, I've been on that little screen before. Yeah. Time. Yeah. Thank you. Were, we, well, he's yeah. like, well, it was kind of boring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was one of the boring days. Four <laughs> out of ten. You called him. That was... Travis, uh, let's give Schaefer our thumbs up or thumbs down uh, final episode of Game of Thrones. Anytime. Oh, middle. Ooh. You went middle? I'm a hard two thumbs I, down. I thought it was really? garbage. Wow. I thought you were fake shooting a gun. <laughs> Holding it sideways. We right. actually had a we I, I know you guys asked this before, but we actually did have a conversation inside the fellowship uh with the of industry the professional who is who's actually um he's been writing uh in the industry for over twenty years on not only kids shows but television shows, dramas. And he he basically spelled it out that that it, it, the story allow for organic evolution of the characters, whereas the final two seasons, it was plot points. It was we had to get from here to here so we can get from here to here. So I think that's why we saw the season we saw not only this year, but last year. It's because it, it was a sense of urgency on behalf of the writers to finally get to the end and so there wasn't room for that organic evolution of characters making certain decisions and i think that's why we didn't enjoy most of this past season and especially the finale because there wasn't that organic decision making from the characters we had seen for so long make organic decisions 
So it felt like the plot called for them to make that move, not the character's development called for them to make that move. So I think now having a better understanding of that, I think if the ent- if the seven seasons of Game of Thrones were like the last two seasons, I don't think we would have had a problem with the finale. But the fact is that there was such a slow build and the last couple episodes just felt like we just had to get there. So that's what we got. I'm so I didn't about like, it. yeah, yeah. And I understand that you should be, it, it was, there it was, was so unsatisfactory, much. but I didn't hate it. Yeah. Tommy, that episode where Danny did what she did should have been a season finale. Like that's where they should have mm-hmm. left it. Yeah. I, I think if you, if you would have wanted, if you ended it there, I would not have hated it. I think I would have, been, I would have rather had that ending Tommy than the ending we got. I think you're right in that regard. I felt I felt like they needed at least one more season. I think they just needed a few more episodes. Like if this yeah. was, a, if this yeah. was, a, if this was yeah. an eight or a ten episode mm-hmm. season instead of six, I Agreed. think maybe you can get there. It was just so good. And yeah. then, yeah. well, they were ready for Star Wars. I'll, you know, yeah. like, I was ready. I was safe we, on that. Let's one. Go make some movies. I hate that we know that too. Yeah. That actually makes it way no, worse. No, I really truly believe yeah. that they were like, you know, yeah, we could do a couple more episodes. We could spread this out. We could flesh it out. Make it make sense. But well, they, they wanted there 10 seasons, Wars. right? I thought I read somewhere uh, they wanted 10 lot. seasons. Yeah, I don't know. But Shafe but Shafe is right. I think I think that was the other thing we talked about this previously that the, the, the show deserved at least two more episodes. Yeah. And I think that would have been um, it, it would have been I think more satisfactory and I, I really would love to know the answer from the showrunners and HBO as to why they settled on six when it was clear as day that two more episodes is necessary again i think it may come down to scheduling because you know all the stars and hell we're, we just saw kit harrington have to check himself yeah. into rehab so maybe just a lot of things behind the scenes that were going on and they had to juggle personalities and schedules and commitments uh, but if that's the case that would be disappointing too because if the fans can commit so much to the series, you would hope the creators would reciprocate. But at the same time, it's a it's a business, and when Star Wars and Disney comes a knocking, that paycheck is generational changing. It's kind of hard to uh, not focus on that, I guess. Very true, guys. It's been a great show. Let's finish up with some fair or foul. Travis, hit it. It's time for fair. Is he frozen? Did you say the rest What's of happening? it? Four, five. Oh, there oh, he did it. Oh, look yeah, at him. Yeah. Classic this trap. Moment, change has come to America. People often ask me, what's fair or foul? Is it a segment? Is it a movement? Is it hope? I can't say for certain. Time will be a true test of its power. But I can say, fair or foul is now and forever for the people. Gather around the true. radio with your loved ones and hold on to your butts. It's now time for fair. We give it back to you. loving this. The people. Or foul. <laughs> hey, guess happening? what celebrity? Guess what celebrity I saw in the airport yesterday? Don't care. JFK. Julia Louis Dreyfus. You oh. and McGregor. Oh, Connor but she's McGregor. a great dame too. No, Robert Judy Woodruff. Who? Judy oh, Woodruff from the News Hour. Who? From the News Hour. And yes, didn't she do, out. wasn't wasn't she one of the... Uh, the debate moderators. Didn't she do the debates? Yeah, yeah. she does the debates. Yeah, so like she her. was and she was a very lovely lady. It was very Travis, cool to see. And I saw Brevin Knight. Knight. Brevin Knight? <laughs> Brevin Knight and That's Judy Woodruff. Stanford Zone. Yeah, yeah Stanford Zone. Brevin Knight and Judy. Brevin Knight. Hey, you never know, you'll see. And Judy Woodruff. Yeah. Just never know who you'll see in the airport. Oh, well, congrats to... <laughs> Travis and Brevin Knight. <laughs> yeah. uh, we asked you about civilization ending hmm. uh, in 2050. Uh, we'll give you ten dollars to buzz his wine grill that you better use quick or this is happening. Uh, let's go, everybody. Also, I just wanted to relay that uh, Ron Finger in the comments says it's over. Go play D and D, nerds. <laughs> <laughs> we need that. Uh, I'm going to. We need That's that. fair. <laughs> you know I will. That's right. <laughs> Uh, Want to join my campaign, Ron? All right, let's mm. do Funny Shield plus three. Here we go. <laughs> Fair, foolish humans. You've trampled on our environment and squandered your resources for too long. We've long been biding our time, hibernating. I've seen your future, and it's 
Grizzly. No. Oh. Because of the bears. Yeah. Gardner hates them. The you guys might not know that. No, just... He doesn't talk about it much. Not about often. It. Uh... Not very frequently. The end of the age of... <laughs> <laughs> this email has sound effects. Mm. <laughs> yeah, was that the, the, the emailer that did that? I or? think so. Okay. He put a uh, he embedded a link in there. Hit play. The end of the age of man is nigh. The age of the bear has just begun. Uh-huh. Bowed down before... Ursa Major. <laughs> ah, Jamie Moyers. Fancy Foyer. Bear Apocalypse. Aliens that's are going to save name. us. Mm-hmm. So good. Aliens will save us. From bears? From climate change. The aliens were in our heart all along. Uh, Maybe that's not. That's a, nice, uh, that's a nice sentiment. Fair. Thus I am jettisoning, jettisoning my only son, Marvel's Morel, <laughs> for planet Kepler, 186F. Godspeed, son. Mm-hmm. TT. <laughs> Your dad has been emailing in for four years? Uh, foul! We are currently dealing with record tornadoes and flooding while half of the country has spent less time researching climate change than Tommy has spent researching <laughs> Hobbit cutlery. Hey, 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 hey. I'd say 2050 nah. is even a little too ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's the black sheep. That's pretty good. Travis, you're in New York. It's your segment. Who are you voting for? I am voting for TT's pink eye. Brendan Schaefer, you're the guest. Who you got? I want the I want the black sheep. I black like the sheep. hardest. That was that a one. that was it was a good one. Yep. Uh, Tommy. Black Tommy's sheep. not going to wait for Gardner. Go ahead. I you said a... Tommy. I said Tommy's not going to wait for Gardner. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even wait for that. All right. <laughs> who you got? Black sheep. I got Jamie Moyer's fancy foyer. The Black Sheep has won $10 Yay! to Buzz as a wine grill. Congratulations and thanks to everybody for uh, throwing those submissions in. Brendan Schaefer, what a delight. Tommy, hey was guys. the show boring with Brendan in today? No, it wasn't. We thanks should have you more often. Wait till I leave. Just yeah. so we should well. have you more often. Mm, oh, how nice wow. of you. Wow, look at that. Uh, well, Travis, thanks for telling me how to do my job, Tommy. Uh, yeah, this You're is welcome. getting really aggressive. Mm. Uh, Travis, uh, anything Joints. on deck for you that we don't care about? Oh, hey, he's still here, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Guys, I would like to announce my official sponsor, Poland Springs. is a prominent bottled water company here in New York. Uh, Poland Springs, when you want to taste uh, Lake Erie or Hudson River or whatever it is, comes from. It's okay. good. That's pop off in a bottle of water. Yeah, that bottle's filled with yeah, vodka. That is yeah. for sure. I was yeah. trying to. You've moved on to. You I, even, checked, I checked my watch. I'm like, eh, 10.07 here, 11.07 there. It's yeah. probably even refrigerated. Five o'clock anymore. somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, that, that was, that's a song, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is a song. Okay, well, oh, we'll all waste away in Margaritaville or nope. whatever that nope. means. No, we'll waste away because uh, of climate change. Some, this is true. Uh, man, big thanks to St. Louis Counseling Services. Mental Health Matters is their podcast. Be sure to check that out. Shout out to Stacy Static and the Static Podcast. They, she records here as well. And Impolite Company, they do as well. Back to St. Louis Counseling, they've been improving lives since 1955. Counseling services for businesses, individual like individuals alike in the St. Louis area. Be sure to drop them a line. Say hello to Tom Duff and the team. Big thanks to all of our other sponsors, Tech Electronics, for this wonderful studio that we record in every single day. For Travis Rell, New York Gardner, Schaefer, and Tommy, whatever his name is here. Guys, we're back Moss tomorrow. Lander. Live at 8 a.m. We'll see you then. Peace.